Middle school math. Here is a explanation of the challenge question about those brown spotted dogs and cats. My apologies that I forgot to give you a crucial piece of information on the previous quiz. Uh, so sorry about that, but I'm going to keep throwing you and uh, we middle school math teachers will keep throwing you some challenge questions because like my yoga teachers tells me, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So in an animal shelter, two thirds of all the dogs have brown spots and three fifths of all the cats have brown spots. If there are the same number of brown spotted dogs as cats, what fraction have brown spots? My approach to this one, and I read this from the Math Teacher Magazine, uh, is that a visual one. Say we're gonna look at the dogs here and then the cats here and we're searching for a place where we get the same number of brown spotted dogs and cats. Dogs come in like two-thirds of the dogs are brown spotted. So uh, here's three dogs. I'm going to shade this to show that those are the brown spotted dogs and then uh, so that means there's three dogs there two of which have brown spots. The cats are come in fives and three of them or the ratio of three out of five have brown spots. Now, it's gotta go this way because you can't just have uh, two and a half cats or uh, one and a third dogs. So it's got to be increments like this. Right now I look to see that, uh, I'm gonna check to see that there's the same number of brown spotted dogs and cats. So I'm gonna put up here, same number, question mark, no because there's three cats here and two cats here. I've got to keep going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's see, to make it a little quicker, I'm going to copy this and put it down below. So this is the second iteration here where are there, now there's four dogs and let's go with cats as well. Let's do copy them. There's three cats. I don't have enough. I'm going to add another one. Now there are six cats. And let's double check. Now there are four here and six here. Not enough. Or not enough dogs. There's four dogs and six cats. So now you got to play around with it a little more. I'm going to uh, try it again. Let's do, let's copy this. And let's add another one down here. Aha, look at that. Before I even do the cats, I do notice that, I'm gonna keep this the same. When it comes to dogs here, there are six, six dogs out of the nine that have brown spots. There's also six cats out of the 10 here that have brown spots, I have reached the same number, yes. So I have the crucial piece of information was that they're the same number of brown spotted dogs as cats. Now I can go and find out what fraction of all the dogs and cats have brown spots. I'm gonna total all those. There's five, 10, and this is 19. There's 19 total animals and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 nineteenths is my answer. So what fraction of all the dogs and cats have brown spots? 12 nineteenths. Now I've heard there is an algebraic solution. I would love to see it if you've found, found it or worked it out. Uh, what the best thing about some of these math problems is that there's multiple avenues to solve it and different representations for getting the same answer. That's what makes you a fluid mathematician is to be able to go from graph to sentence, maybe to a table, to a diagram, and make sense of these problems. Thanks a lot for listening and keep trying those